All right, I'm ready. Ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Mm -hmm. Ah, wrong button. I was trying to silence my watch, and I did the phone alarm thing. The what? There's like, on the Apple Watch, there's like a button you can press that'll make your phone ding. So like, if you lose your phone, like, help you find your phone, you know what I mean? That sounds neat. Yeah, it's pretty useful. Until I ding in everyone's ear on accident. Ding ding. <laughs> Okay, cool. So, last time we did, uh, you guys had finished at the tower. You stopped by the witch's swamp to drop off Lottie and Rasmus. Had a chat with her. Then you went up to the Harpies village. I spent a few days hanging out with the harpies as burbs. Lots of After that, you got a speech, and you got a buff, and you got the last song. And now I think we ended as you guys were arriving in Hotsfield. Have we picked up Rasmus yet? No. You guys said you wanted to go to Hotsfield first. Yeah, let's go to Hotsfield. We gotta go get her elf archer lady ranger. Yes. Her name will appear before my brain. Arwen? Arwen, there we go. We'll go get Arwen and take her with us to go see Katja. Okay. Do you head over to her house on the outskirts of town? Um, let's see. I didn't really think about what time of day this might be. But we'll assume she's there. I'm going to knock on her door. Okay, she answers. Oh, uh, you're back. We are. What, what news do you have? Well, we found Erasmus and Lottie. They're both unharmed. Um, we took them to go stay with a friend we met along our adventures because we thought they might be safer there than here with all the craziness that's been going on. Um, but good news, I think we took out the demon lord that the cult was following, or at least, uh, I guess we have at least the bird. servant in the area. Um, and then we went and we saw some harpies and we got the last song. But we came to get you before we went to go get Lottie and... Erasmus, because our friend out there might be able to help you with your curse. Really? Said who was so. your friend? Her name is Katja. Okay. You when like... you left, I was I didn't know where you went. None of you said anything before leaving. 
we were quite worried that maybe you'd been kidnapped by the cult. I will boisterous laugh. Ha <laughs> ha! Them catch us. Preposterous. I guess we did kind of give a little, uh... Uh, hot on the trail and just kind of followed it. I'm sorry, we should have said something. We had cleared an ancient tower to get Rasmus and Eladia back. I suppose as long as everyone's safe, it's all water under the bridge. They are safe. Thankfully. Very well. I'll go with you to this catcher. Awesome. Can we go talk to anybody else while we're here? I will look down and say, maybe we should bring Rasmus and Lottie back before we get everybody's hopes up. Maybe they'll offer another party for us. Again, for rescuing him. A real one this time. All right. Maybe this will be the last time he gets captured. <laughs> May Melody and Ursula will watch over him if that does happen again. Yeah, hey, let's go visit Katja. I will call El Speak and Sylvan to Katja and say we are on our way. Just to give her as a heads up that we're mo we're on our way to meet her. Okay, cool. Do I know who this person is? Who Arwen is? Yeah, I haven't. Am I forgetting? She was, uh, she was the elf who was helping you fight in the village and stuff. She helped you do some scouting and things as well. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah. Uh, if you would need her to see what she looks like, I guess. Dropper. Oh. oh yes, yes, gotcha. Okay, you guys are heading straight off back to the swamp then. Maybe we should get rations. Meh, it won't I won't bring that up as a concern. I'm who needs to eat? Not me. I'll have some, I think. We'll be good. Oh, Katja always likes to feed us when we get there, anyhow. Okay, cool. Um, there's nothing that will bother you on the way, but I need everybody to make me a flat charisma check. If you could. Charisma. 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 Oh my god. Okay, uh, Dreepy, uh, Dreepy Silken is a reroll for me, if you can. Okay. Ah! <laughs> We're trying to get the highest roll right now out of you guys. There you go. That's one, too. Okay, so is. Um, on your day, at the end of your first day of travel back towards the swamp, uh, you receive a message in your brain. And it says, uh, it's the voice, oh, wait, does, it, does this thing have a, I think it has voices, hold on. It's an assort message to a creature. Yeah, so it sounds like a young woman, and she says, Greetings, I am Archmage Emily Sparkshower. My parents inform me of your deeds. Send for me in Ecclesia if you find yourselves in need. And then if you want, you can also respond in 25 words or less. Just to let you guys all know, I, I just heard a message. Smug, did you hear that message? No, I didn't hear that. I did yeah, say. There's a maid trying to contact us. She needs help if we go towards Ecclesia. Ecclesia! I need to go to Ecclesia. She said if you need help. Part of our good deeds. Oh, if we need help. Yeah. There you go. Can you read that? Yeah, I can. Thank you. Archmage Emily Sparks Hower. 
Hmm. You guys know that. That's, that's the... Mark and Jane's daughter. Oh, that's Mark and Jane's oh. daughter. I was going to say, the name sounded familiar. I didn't know if that's where Erasmus... Uh... Erasmus went? Okay. Um... Seeing those two fights and the, to think they have a daughter as a mage. Hmm. This family is quite interesting. Alright, I made a note of that for later. Do you want to respond or no? Do we do want to re give a response right now, guys? Um, I... Um, yeah. Maybe we trying to reach that, that we shall... the warranty. <laughs> Sit there. Maybe we basically, basically, she cast the uh, sending spell, and you have twenty-five words that you can just respond with. Um, tell her, ask her Tell her that. Um, um, don't use all your words talking nonsense. Maybe I don't have a good idea. Uh, <laughs> Maybe they should ask where would we be able to find her. In Ecclesia. Well, where in Ecclesia? Ecclesia might be a big city, friends. She j uh, she said just send for me. And, you know, if she's an Archmage, she's probably important enough to uh, right. other people wouldn't know her name. Yeah. Here. Um, I don't see why not, but maybe we should tell her that we'll make our way out there after we make our pit stop. Sounds good to me. Yeah, I think that's a good... So, yes, thank you. Um, we we have a few more stops, but once we make it there, we'd love to... Uh, can't be that long. Yes, thank okay. you. Once we get a chance, we'll stop by. Alright. Message received. Alright, that's it. That was the interlude. You guys reached the swamp, and once again, the sort of mystic force of the swamp allows you to pass through it very quickly, so you don't have to spend the day traveling. Uh, and we arrive at the hut. Well, it's not really a hut, it's a full on cabin. With the spooky music, because it's, well, there must be spooky music. Our one seems, uh, she's quite curious about what's happening. Some, some powerful magic here. We did not travel the distance we walked. I will say, I will reassure her and say, tis but a grandma out in these woods. Nothing to be worried about. If you say so. She trusts you guys, but she's not entirely convinced of the, her own safety. Spooky. All right, so you guys go inside, and uh, Rasmus and um, oh, actually, Rasmus and Lottie are like outside. Um, Lottie is doing like exercises almost, like she's picked up a spear and she's kind of like practicing moves, and Rasmus is out reading a tome. I'm like a he's sitting on like a tree trunk. And they greet you first as you guys approach. Friends! Hello. Welcome back! Thank you. We bought we brought Aro in. How's your visit been? It's been good. Catch has been helping us. Yeah? Quite a bit. Yes, we um Lottie says, I've I've just kind of been tired of getting pushed around, and I think it's a good time to maybe take out my grandfather's legacy. And she sort of, like, you know, slams the spear into the ground with the butt end. Okay. I'm going to try to... I think I'm going to train up, see what I can learn here. Rasmus says, yes, uh, Catch is actually a, a, a versed scholar. Her, her arcane knowledge is quite impressive. I know, right? 
She is very wise and very powerful. That is correct. We are hoping she might be able to help Arwen with her curse. So, we went to grab her before we came back for you guys. Arwen steps at them. I'm glad to see you two are safe. Sorry to worry you. It's been a it's been a hell of a few weeks. Says Rasmus, kind of like scratching his head. Indeed, it has. Um, Katja stops outside. Well, hello, dearies. Welcome back. How was your little trip to the harpies? It's fun. We got to be Quite birds. Quite adventurous. I Did you say. know? Well, that's always a good time. Yeah, flying around. You know, I've spent quite a lot of time as a bird myself. You'd be surprised what you can see when you're just flying around. I am not surprised you spend a lot of time as a bird catcher. One day I'll be able to be a bird. At any time. Well, I don't know if these two have told you yet, but they agreed to stay here for some time. They're looking to hone up their skills, and I agreed to help them. I think that's great. Indeed. I will motion to Arwen. We have brought our friend to help you. So if you could take a look at her curse as I will bow graciously towards her. I'm going to give. Arwen, Katja. Katja, Arwen. Uh, Katja steps forth. Ah, ah, the little elf girl. I remember you. Oh, yeah, I don't know you guys didn't know each other. I don't think she knows me, but we met a while ago. It's of no concern right now. Good to see you're in, well, mostly good health. Come on in, come on in. Uh, where's this character? Here she is. How did she get cursed? I don't think I was here for that. A witch. Uh, nobody knows. Did Didn't she say it was a witch? Did she? I don't think so. I thought she did. Okay. I don't That's... think Arrowin even knew how she got her affliction. Okay. Right, I was just curious if it was this witch. Well, now I'll find a word. But that's why originally Silka asked if she knew who she was. When my friends tell me you might be able to aid me. Oh, great. Great wizard. I'm gonna go inside too. Indeed. Uh, st st actually, step a little closer, dear. Let me get a good look at you. And she kind of, you know, she does that weird thing where you're like, it's almost like she's measuring for clothes or whatever. She like lifts up her arms and gets a good look at her hands and stuff. Hmm, interesting. Well, I can say for certain your affliction is. That of a curse. Not a very well-made one, but the nature of it is quite curious. Some sort of vindictive spirit had it out for you and inflicted you with this disease. I'm... I don't know who would do that. Well, I imagine... It could be hard to figure out sometimes. But someone in your position it could be anybody. Isn't that right? She gives like a knowing smile to Arwen. Well, I can clean that up for you, but... You know, my magic is... I've worked hard to earn it, you know. I, <laughs> I like to ask a little bit in return every once in a while. If you could figure out who did that to... And send them my way. I'd be quite interested. Do we have a deal? Very well. I agree to these terms. Then it's sorted. As she steps up. Casts a spell. And... Arwen's um, 
Harwin's affliction is gone. You see her, the, the sort of like gray scaly growths on her skin and stuff totally recede. And she looks like a normal elf again. Hey. Was that Dreepy that whistled? No. Oh. Either. Uh, <laughs> away from the I would have guessed that. I should have known. Yeah, you guys can see now that uh, her skin is clear, more or less. She is mm. actually. Uh, She does not. Well, she's quite beautiful, just to put it simply. I will sit down. In the well, oh, Arwen, I would say hearing... you clean up well. How do you feel? I feel much better. She like flexes her fingers and stuff. Katja says, the, the strength will return to you in a few days' time. Just have to good they have to take a few good rests and let your body recover, and you'll be well better than new. How will I know? Oh, you'll know. Don't worry about it. When'd you find whoever did it? Remember send them my way. You know. They can be dead if it's if it's required. I have no qualms. You know where we might be able to start? Hmm. Well. Arl uh, she turns to Arwen. Uh, Arwen says, I, I imagine these, whoever it was, would probably be from my home. But I don't know if I can go back there. Where's your home? In, L in Losernelia. The capital of the of the forest, the Wood Elf Forest. Mm. I'm just reading the room. I'm just gonna say, are you royalty? If I may ask. Catalina's back in her chair. It's kind of partially. It's a bit of a long story. Uh, we can get into it later, I suppose. Are you at? I will motion. Are you asking for our aid in this matter? Because I will look to everybody. I know one of our compatriots is enthralled to come, to help you as of right now. I would motion to everybody else. But what is everybody else willing to do? I mean, I would definitely help. I think. We should visit the Archmage, and then we can make our way that way. I see greater challenges. I don't know why. Why would you help me? I have nothing to offer. Doesn't matter, are we? Boy. You've helped us a lot through our trials and errors. Why would we not want to help you? Then I suppose we should travel together for a time. I don't know. Plus, I mean, we can't really just send you into your hometown and then, you know, like, everyone's gonna bombard you with questions. You know? Okay, got your back. Hi, you're an elf. You've got plenty of time, dearie. Don't worry about it. Oh, Here, have some stew, everybody. I'm sure you're all hungry. <laughs> yes, she just please. The big cauldron. I'll whisper to Owl, say in the cat in Sylvan tongue to catch her. She is not the only one who has plenty of time on her side. I have less time than you might think, Sonny. I'm an old woman. Oh, I didn't. Been here a long I time. I did not mean you personally, Katya. <laughs> I meant myself. I meant myself. Is That's what awkward. I meant to say. My apologies. <laughs> she laughs anyway. Okay. Cool. Uh, let's see. I guess that's it for this little. Well, actually, thing. anything you guys um, want. Yeah. So, do you know how we have two diamonds in my bag of holding? Do you mind if I use one of them real quick? Sure. What do you want to do? 
Alright. <clears throat> so I want to go over here and I want to cast Create Humunculus and then apply my Arcana check for when I check the spell on the cauldron to make me a little tiny flying cauldron, dude. Do you want a little cauldron as your homunculus servant? Yes, and I want him to have unlimited soup. <laughs> soup. Unlimited that? soup. Uh that solves the rational problem. Uh, Are you I just trying that. to jack one of her cauldrons? <laughs> I'm gonna ask her for a cauldron. I actually forgot about that part. Um, and see if I can buy a cauldron off of her to use as my base metal. Uh sure. Why not? She's interested to see where this is going. Yay! <laughs> God. <laughs> Okay, so you make your homunculus out of a cauldron. Very cool. It can't really do infinite soup, uh, but it does do homunculus stuff. Let me do and it is very cute. Yeah, let's walk around like the cauldron from Fantasia. There's a picture that he posted in the discord what do you want it to look like yeah i was originally inspired by um elden ring i don't but i thought that. i was going to be able to apply the spell i learned from the oh, you mean, check on it oh. <laughs> like sebastian okay cool yeah but then i learned it had a fly speed so i was like let's just make it smaller and then right. let it fly this is the homunculus servant infusion right yes Okay, so there's your... I think you can see him. Hold on, I gotta give you control of him. He doesn't have a picture, unfortunately. Fine. But there he is. You could add a picture eventually. I have a pet. HP is actually 11. That has the actual chance to give us soup. Yeah, he can say so he functions like a normal cauldron <laughs> if you want him to. I don't know. That doesn't necessarily make him immune to fire damage. Let's see. No, this ballista is not what I need. Okay, anything else you guys want to do at Catch's house? I'm going to go talk to mm -hmm. uh, Erasmus. Okay. Right here. I'll come outside. Um, hey Erasmus, sorry to bug you from your studies. But I wanted to ask you if you um recognize the name Archmage Sparks Tower. Or Spark Shower. I don't know why I said Sparks Tower. Oh yes, that's um Mark and Jane's daughter. Right. I was, is that where He's you went friend. to school? Yeah, I attended the college after her. Uh, unlike myself, Emily's quite gifted in the evocation arts. She's a much oh. more powerful sorcerer than myself. I will. But I prefer the scholarly board. routes anyway. I will both boastfully start saying, "It's because her parents can fight. We have witnessed this. They are mighty fighters themselves." Indeed. I guess I just didn't get in my grandfather's good graces. Oh, don't worry. You got plenty of time to learn. And I'm sure Katja's will be a really good teacher. I hope so. I got a message from uh, Archmage Spark Shower that she would like us to come and uh, visit her. Oh, that's good. She must have heard what you all you've done. Yeah, that's what she said. I think, I think she does regular check-ins with her parents. Yeah, that's what it sounds like. This is the other thing going. It's good. It's good that they do. But. He, he leans a little bit close. She, she pretends like she doesn't care, but she really does. <laughs> the typical daughters. Yeah, I just didn't know if uh, you had any history with her or... I just wanted to see what you knew about her is all. Well, she's a fair bit younger than me, but we did used to, you know, we used to play and stuff. 
when we were younger. Cute. Well, I guess uh, maybe we'll tell her you say hello. Lottie says she had a penchant for burning things. Oh. But I, I think she kind of, she managed to work that out eventually. Uh-oh. I hope so. Uh. I will, I'll pipe up, but she is an archmage now. She knows how to control the fire. She starts. Yeah, we can pretend like that's what happens. Uh. I'll just laugh. Lottie doesn't put much oh, stake oh, in oh, arcane oh, oh. arts, but she's quite a gifted wizard now. You can trust her. Okay. Well, that's good to know. What time of day is it? Um, afternoon. Okay, I wasn't sure if like we should travel or stay. What do you guys think? If Katja does her magic thing, you can go travel again. Travel. Travel? To the Plasia? You can travel. I have a I tree to plant. Just... This is up to you. I'll just motion to y'all. This is up to y'all. What I plan to do can be done any time of day or night. Uh, speaking of my tree to plant, uh, excuse me one second. I'm going to go back in. Hey, Katja. Um, so we're going up to Ecclesia mm -hmm. to visit an archmage. Where I? in Ecclesia should I put this big boy? Ah, uh, yes. But be careful that, uh, you know, it's a secretive deal. But what you must do is you must plant the tree in a secluded region of Kelstrom. The whole city of Ecclesia is three different cities. The oldest city is Kelstrom. It is the unwalled section, and I'll need you to go find a, a nice place for the tree. In a copse somewhere nearby. And what you need to do is. What's the spell called? It's plant. Is it actually just plant growth? I need you, you to spend three months casting this spell on the tree so that it reaches its adult size. Three, Three months. Shit. These trees normally take hundreds of years to fully grow. But oh. with your druid magic, you should be able to handle it. We well, yeah, might be spending a little bit more time in Ecclesia than I thought. Um. Okay. So, plant the tree in Old City of Kelpha? Kelstrom. Kelstrom. Sorry, there's a thunderstorm happening behind me. Um, and spend three months casting uh, spike growth? Plant growth. Plant growth. They only need to do it once a day, but yeah, you have to do the long version. Do I have plant growth yet? It's a third level split. You should have it. Oh, yep, yep, yep. Yep. Okay. Alright. Good to know. Old city of Kelstrom. Some are secluded? Yes. Find a secluded place where you won't be disturbed. I don't imagine much people will be curious about you yet. But there's always a chance. Yeah, it is a little odd that I will have to plant corpse with tree. But... I, I, if I were you, I would try to hide the tree on your way into the city. Oh? Are they gonna... Are they gonna... Are they gonna, they gonna scan it? Oh, they might, but I don't know if you realize this. The tree does smell quite a bit. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I do notice. I don't know about the specific customs officials for the city, but... Can never be too careful. That is true. 
I'm sure. Once you're all finished, once you're all finished, I'll send someone through to serve uh, go between. Uh, out of character question, since um she used me to commune to res her, would I know about this deal, or do I? Since you know she was the one who talked, would I have any of the like she has seeds that need to be planted and stuff like that, or no? I feel like. I feel like Silka didn't Silka tell you guys about that or no? Yeah. Oh, she did tell us. Never mind. Okay. You guys apparently don't tell Katja that you know about my seeds. <laughs> um. Okay, we can. I can figure something out. Be able to hide it somehow. Um. Spell the smell might be hard to hide, but. Should be okay. I believe in your skills. Me too. <laughs> Alright. I'm glad I got those instructions. Since we're heading that way. I'll be able to start this journey. With this little guy who's no longer a raccoon. Oh, yes. Did a bit of a transplant, eh? Yeah, a transplant. That's funny. I see what you did there. As the good news is it seems to be healthy, so whatever you've done is working. It was a mountain lion. Mm. I just kind of made it a little bundle in this thing. See? I'm just like pulled the tree out of its bag and like show her like the little casings that I made. I'm like, for some reason in my head, I'm getting that image of like when your little cousin walks up with like a frog that he found on the ground. <laughs> it's like, look what I got. Yeah, it's, it's like, like a that. corpse tree. It's, it's just a corpse tree, yeah. <laughs> Listen, Silka spent some time crafting this little uh, corpse pop for her sapling. She's pretty proud of it. Excellent work there. Why, right, thank you. It's worked all this way. Maybe. Hopefully at last that I might have to do another transplant. This thing keeps growing a lot faster than I expect it to. But, alas! We shall be on our way. If I uh, have any questions or anything, I will just talk to Artemis and have him talk to you. Oh, I'm sure you've already noticed him, but the little bird who's been following you around. Oh. He'll, accompany for you. He'll accompany you for a while. Okay. If you need him, you'll be able to find him. Perfect. Sounds he goes by the name of Roost. Roost? That's a good name. Indeed. Okay. Anybody else want to do anything? Hi. One second, I'm eating pizza. I'm sorry. Wow. How dare no you? Sharing. I know. Stopping my face. I'm sorry. So I was finishing dinner too. <laughs> I want pizza. I would just like to commune with. Instead of you know, sacrificing a heart, so nobody ever, not everybody thinks that he's a blood god. I would actually like to sacrifice, you know. Well, since I want to, I would do like both gods. One of like a sacrifice of, since I don't know how to commune with the harpy goddess, I'd assume it would just be a like gather the flecked flower, you know, stuff that is beautiful. Essentially, I'm assuming. Yeah, I would like to gather like flowers, you know, stuff like that, and then I would also use the pelt of the cougar as well as a offering to both Ursula and her and I would like as I prepare the ritual I would say mighty melody and Ursula may you gather your strength and become stronger with this offering and may your guidance and wisdom protect us all on this journey ahead to both of you okay cool are you burning them, or what was the sacrifice? I would like to burn them, yeah. Okay. Nice.
Sweet. So where do you guys want to go now? It's we're going to start mm-hmm. making our way to Ecclesia. You going to go straight from the swamp? Um, sure. I don't really... Uh, we might actually... Might actually... How long is Ecclesia? How long of travel? It's a week back to the city. On the road. If you did other things, who knows? Other things? Oh, 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 oh. oh yeah, I don't know. How much. You guys got some good magic now, you know? This might be things you can do. Do we know of any villages that we're going to pass along the way where we might be able to pick up, like, rations or something? Um, this is the only, like, major village on this road. Huntsville? Yeah, uh, Huntsville, yeah. Okay. It'd be best to... It'd probably be best to get refill your rations in the town. Okay. Sounds good. Do that then. Our one basically has all of her possessions on her, so she doesn't really mind. I'm just leaving her house. But yeah, you guys can go back to Hotsfield. I mean, I'll make it there. If anything, we can always hunt too. Yeah, I mean, if you have good the, days, you don't even really need to worry about rations if you cast those. That's true, too. The hunting gives me an excuse to offer sacrifices, so, yeah. To which your own. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Onward! Going on an adventure to a new city and planting trees. Okay, so you are going just straight there. Yeah. I don't okay. think there was anything else we needed. Nothing else you needed. Alright then. Uh, cool. As we're Who's... traveling, uh, I'd like Gilgath Rash to catch up to Silka and be like, Everything that that lady asks y'all to do seems kind of vile and evil. Just seeing if you're aware of this. Hey, what do you mean? You have to take a dead body and plant an acorn in it? Well, I didn't really plant an acorn originally in a dead body. The raccoon ate the acorn and it bloomed in his body. Oh, that's still gross. It is very gross. All right, I'm just con- just concerned. Her raising the demon at first, and uh, now we're planting magical trees. And I thought she was dispelling places. the demon, if I remember correctly. Yeah, that was her plan: was to dispel the demon. Deal with it, she said. Just gonna deal with it. Cool. Can you guys see where you are here? I put Smug. He'll, he'll be the token, just for the group. In the middle of the ocean. <laughs> yes, I can see where we are. Alright, so you guys are heading back to Ecclesia, leaving Hotsfield behind. Um. Okay, so who's navigating? You're just following the road, so it's not a difficult journey, but still. I will... I can, I can navigate survival, yeah. Okay, cool. Um, as you're getting closer, do you remember on your first trip into town, uh, the two griffins that you saw along the road? You're about at that point, and as you look up and around, see what's going on, you notice there does seem to be some large flying creatures that are uh, scouting out above this area. I'm going to do my lizard body and I'm flatten myself on the floor and try and be like, what the heck is that? The Reaper Give me a perception check. Everybody or just Silco? 
Whoever. They look like griffins, but much larger than the ones you first met. Like crap, all of those things get big. I'll look to everybody else. Shall we deal with this now before they cause any more trouble or harm to, to the people of the road? Hold on. How do we know they're causing trouble and harm? They're griffins. I think we can just uh, go on by here I... without them noticing as long as, you know, try and keep to ourselves. I had a terrible nature roll, but can I tell what kind of griffins they are? Uh, not from this far away, no. They're like a couple hundred feet up in the air flying around. There does seem to be, after like hanging around a while and assessing the situation, you see there's like five of them, at least. Mm -hmm. Looks like they have started a family. There's nothing wrong with wild animals living in the wild. It is if they are on a settlement of... If they are on a road, there's travelers. There's not Normal a problem folk. with wild animals living in the wild. They're not in a city. They're not attacking a city or a town. They're hunting they for their track. food. They Just could like be stalking do. travelers. They could be stalking people on the way, though, as an easy meal, but if we do not wish to attack them, so be it. I will just draw my maul just in case if something fishy happens and have it ready. Yeah, you guys have spotted them from far away enough, you can sneak around if you want. That's what I vote. Yeah, let's get sneaky. Cool. Ooh, I still got my sneaky shoes on. Yeah, give me a stealth check with advantage. All of y'all. Oh, I guess I'll roll as well. Do I have advantage Ooh. even if... Oh, I guess it's neutral. Arwen will pipe Wait, up. What? Say. I don't know why. Um, this has been a Yo, few days. Yo, actually, did. her stats are back to normal. So after a few get a uh, few days of travel, you notice that Arwen is actually much improved in her mood and her abilities. Ah, Arwen, looking strong as ever. Yes, I'm feeling so much better. Like a massive burden has been lifted from my shoulders. All right, let's see. 18, 18, and then 14. And adjust her health. No more minus 5 here. And instead, plus, plus 10. Wow. So that'd be 32. Gee, say what? She's 32 health now instead of 17. <laughs> Jesus. Her attacks and stuff to damage. Alright, you guys are sneaking around. Stealth checks. Uh, t -t 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 with advantage. Arwen, her stealth is higher, but she won't do anyway. So that's one, two, three, four. Okay, yeah, you guys are successful. You sneak around and continue on your path. And are undisturbed all the way to the city. Bam. The great city of Ecclesia. Ooh. Where is this music? Yep. Where do we enter? You guys can see this map, right? Yes. Yep. So you guys are going to enter into Old Wafton, which is where the uh, the uh, the associated headquarters was of the Adventurers Guild was. That's where you got your first mission before you left. You said where at? Old Wafton. Old Wafton. Um. 
Does anybody have any ideas on how to uh, mask a dying corpse spell? Say what? What? Masking a no cover it with a stronger smell. Corpse smell. I mean, you could technically put it inside a slime. Inside a slime? Or the bag of... Oh, All right, there's no air going through that. Or an undead ghost, yeah, but... but... It's a plant. What if... We, we could put it in my armor case. I highly doubt they're going to open my armor up. Mm -hmm. it's true. I will oh save this so Arwen can't hear this. I want to exclusively say that out loud. <laughs> I don't think I've revealed that to her yet. Okay. Okay. That sounds like it could work. So what was the plan? We so. I'm going to move my armor plate. I will plate? put okay. said tree corpse in there and then just close it. You know, and just okay. walk with the tree in me. What it's gross, but I mean, it'll work, I guess. You don't know. Uh... Well, give me, a, blood. give me a dexterity check real quick. See how well you can do this. Dexterity. Your form is mostly incorporeal. Oop. I can't. We're holding worth the shit. Oh, well, that was worth a try. Uh, I don't want my bag to smell, but you can put it in the bag of holding. Yeah, you guys can see that this is like a very obviously a strange situation. Interesting. <laughs> you try. Like, it doesn't seem very convincing at all. You can see the leaves poking out of his uh, visor. Uh, yeah, I look at Artemis. It's out. actually like it's like poking your like living eye, and it feels incredibly awkward. Oh, I'm just gonna start rubbing. Like, uh, okay, I'm gonna be like, nope, nope. Take the tree out. I'm like, that's a no go. Uh, I appreciate you trying. Um, hmm. I guess, uh, um, hmm. Here, I'll look at Silka, and then I will open up my bag of holding, and then say, Hey, you can put it in here, but you're cleaning it afterwards. Okay, okay, sounds good. I mean, if we get over oh. to Kelstrom, it doesn't have to be in here for too long. Okay. And there's plenty of woods and stuff around the city. If you don't want to enter the city directly... You could, like, try to ford the river and get across to the other side. Could I mean, do that and go over to Kelstrom, place the plant, and then make our way to, uh... What's your face? Uh, there's something I gotta mention... I may have to revisit the plant once a day for three months. So we're on vacation, is that what you're saying? For three months? Or at least I am. What do you have to do to it? I have to cast a spell called Plant Growth on it. To help it grow. Oh. What did you think I had to do? Water the city and like stack all the bodies on it? Can you hire a druid to do that for you? Uh, I don't know. They might ask some questions that I might not have any answers for. Um, or... It's an idea. <laughs> but, uh... Just saying. It might free you up a little bit. It might, but... Uh, it also might... I don't know what happens if I break the deal. I don't know if that's considered breaking the deal. It's 
it's up to you if you want to get more people involved. But... Or are you trying to direct that as a question towards me? Ugh. I'm just asking out loud. I don't know. But for now, I guess, uh... You guys mind if we try and go across the river and go around the town to Kelstrom to plant the tree? Well, that's a good idea. That, which has helped us. I don't really want to cross her right now. Yeah. Same. Like, she's all of a sudden, you're not alive and you're alive now. I don't know. Like, I don't want that to happen. That's kind of where I'm like, I don't know if she would be very happy with me just hiring another druid to do it. Yeah, me, I don't think so. But, can I at least plant the tree? The sooner it's planted, the sooner that timeline starts. Yes. Would I be able to commune to Katja and ask that question for her? You want to ask her what? If she could, if hiring another druid to do her task for her would break the contract. <laughs> she laughs. I never expected anyone to offload my deeds, but if she's willing to trust her soul to some random druid, she's more than welcome to. Um, but if the tree dies, she might as well. I'm going to relay the information. I would not bargain your soul on some random individual to plant this tree. And take care of it. What if they steal it? That's an even greater question, too. What if they do steal the tree? Yeah, I'm not trying to die for a tree, y'all. I'll stay for three months. It's no big deal. Oh, we could probably find thing. it. I'm going to try and start growing across the river. Cool. <laughs> um... Yeah, so you can swim across if you want, but there are also a few ferries that ferry people over and across that aren't necessarily attached to the town. If you want to pay them some silver to get across, you could do that. Oh, okay. Or how much are they pay? How much are they worth? Or asking for? Um, it's like two silver per person across. Easy. Let's do it. How many people are in our party right now? I believe I know, six. But I got two silver. I'll just pay the whole, what, 12 copper? I mean, silver? Yeah, it'd be one gold, two silver, or 12 silver. I have 20 silver pieces. I'll just pay the 12 silver. You'd be left with eight silver pieces. Nice. Okay, you guys are all across. And I'll give him a two silver tip as well. He appreciates it. Thank you for the comeuppance. Okay, cool. So you guys are on the other side. So this uh, this part of the city is not walled, and it does seem very old. Like, the center of it is some older villages that have been here for who knows how long? At least a hundred, at least like a couple hundred years, most likely. But it's also been relegated to the sort of farm section of the, the region. This is where a lot of the, like, the wheat and the other crops are grown. The rivers make it quite uh, fertile, actually, so it's a prized farming land. There are some uh, expansive vineyards as well, Ooh. and the Ecclesian wine is quite well known across the lands. I see why yeah. she wanted it planted here. But yeah, so where do you where were you thinking of putting it? Um, well, it needs to be somewhere secluded. Hmm. Thinking of putting it. Uh, I don't know. Uh, somewhere secluded, or no one's gonna bother me. So I guess maybe on the the tree line. How far in is Kelstrom? That's the hard part. Yeah, all the trees, like groups of trees, just right. Uh... They sort of represent woods, like miniature woods. Mm -hmm. That's the too bigger far trees out, yeah. are, the 
like a full-on forest. You're not sure how, how close it has oh, to be. Oh, okay, okay. So, I see what you're saying. Well, um, let's see. I guess we could... Put it in, like, this little foresty area. In Kalstrom. Okay. Yeah, down by some uh, cattle farms. Hidden away in a copse of trees. Cool. So that's your location. All right. Uh, so this is probably. I guess I'll just give this to you now. So this was basically where our three month downtime is going to start. And you guys, I've highlighted some activities you guys can do. Uh, change anyone with link. Copy link. There's a Google Doc for you guys to have a look over. Uh, you can do, well, you can do two different things in a day, in any given day. One of those is work, and the other thing is a, uh, a like a downtime activity. And those activities, just some examples I gave, you can do crafting, which uh, uses my revamp. But if you don't want to, if we, we don't have to go into crafting, if you guys don't want to do any. Carousing, it gives you a chance every month. You get one roll, and you can make a friend who's an expert in an area by socializing with the different people in the city. Training lets you uh, train up proficiency in art, in skills and tools. Uh, you can also train up a proficiency you already have into expertise. Um, Let's see, there's beast taming, which is like, if you want like a really domesticated animal, you can work on them mm. and teach them to like, uh, do things. Discovering adventures is basically you search around and that's you look for something that suits that thing that you're seeking. There are three different types of things to seek out. Fame, fu po fame <laughs> fortune, and power. Uh, and then there's work. So I try to make work kind of like a little bit of both because you need to no matter what no matter what you want to do in your free time you have to pay for your living expenses and there's a few different living lifestyles you can make that cost various different things okay. but the no work allows you to gain like a special benefit um if you spend three months without working you gain advantage on con checks for one month and you're immune to effects that will reduce your hit points or ability scores below their max for a month. Uh, if you gain any levels of exhaustion, you lose this. Unskilled work is things like menial labor. Uh, unskilled work doesn't make you much money, but it does make you friendlier with the common folk. So it increases your reputation with the normal uh, townsfolk that live here. Skilled work is good work because it pays a lot. Uh, and you can earn reputation with specific institutions. So, like, if you wanted to work as a healer in the church, for ex just as a, an example, you could earn reputation with the church and also make money. Uh, in addition, skilled work requires the use of a skill. So, basically, you, if you want to do skilled work, you have to argue why your skill would be useful and why that would help you make money. Hmm, okay, okay. You guys can all see that dot, right? Yeah, you're looking at. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. yeah. Is there a history museum in the city of Ecclesia? Yeah. Uh, well, <laughs> there'll be there'll be like tinier museums, but there's not like a massive history museum. It'd be more like the li the library and stuff is where things would be recorded. Uh, there's no museum here. Um, not big ones. There's personal museums uh, that some nobles and collectors have. Okay, I feel like that's something that Silco would probably try and do. Oh, but that's what I was gonna say, Silka. Unfortunately, this is gonna uh, the whole the tree thing is gonna take up one of these activities. Oh, okay. So you can decide you can decide whether you want to have no work or if you want to have no activity. If that makes sense. Yeah. You just say so you just pick one of those two that you don't want to do. Oh, you can. P we can pick two of these. You can pick a type of work, and you can pick one activity. Ooh. I feel like she would still have to have some sort of work, and if there is like a 
there is something like a history museum or like logging inventories and stuff of different trinkets and things. That yeah, originally I wanted to do this. At, originally I wanted to do this at the end of the episode uh, because I was going to give you time to think about things because then I obviously have to like make adventures and stuff. Right. But, mm -hmm, just, just th I threw that. I threw this at you guys now just so you could have a like a look through it and stuff. Yeah. So quick question. Um, so would I have to go the crafting route to recreate that mechanical pot from when I learned how to make that spell? If you wanted to make a magical item like hers, yeah, you'd have to do the crafting thing. Okay. Uh, but the specifics of that one I have to think about. I would like to do... Hmm. I'll probably do... Is there a way since since we're probably gonna go visit the archmage? She's just she just teaches magic and stuff like that, or is she like a all around teacher since she's an archmage? Which you know. Well, you're not sure. Oh, we haven't met her yet, right? Yeah, we haven't met her yet. Yeah. So, if there's anything you guys want to do in the city to get like started, we can do that. Plant my tree. Did I already plant my tree? You've chosen out the location. You can start getting to it. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, yeah, uh, I mean, with obviously more thought behind it, I feel like Silk would be very happy doing some sort of archaeology work in the city. You guys still can't fully access the city right now? Until we plant this tree and get the That's... dead body smell. No, because you guys didn't get your, uh, you didn't get your adventurer's guild tags. We're unlicensed. Oh. Uh, well, we're licensed to kill anyways. <laughs> oh, so we can't go in the city yet? You can't enter New Wafton, which is the main part of the city. Oh. Okay, well, we'll figure that out when we get closer to there. Hopefully. Old Wafton's cooler anyways. Old Wafton is the merchant district, more or less. Old Wafton is where, where we got our job, from. right? Yeah, that's where you picked up the first mission. Okay, well, let's plant the tree, go get our tags, and try and look for Archmage. Okay, cool. So you head over to the Adventurer's Guild, step inside. It's not very busy right now, uh, but you managed to make a pretty quick appointment. Why do I have two of these open? You managed to make a pretty quick appointment with your um, your fixer, I guess, is essentially what he's called. Hockam Luke. He says, well, I didn't expect to see you guys come back. You've been gone so long. How'd it go? Oh, your adventure quite... turned into quite an adventure. That it did. We had to save a small the village of Huntsfield from a cult. Hey, really? Like the mm -hmm. demon lord. Yeah, we well, saved that guy that we were looking for like two times. Oh, God. Okay. This sounds like it's going to take a, this is going to be a story, huh? It's quite the story, quite. yes. <laughs> that know. note from the mayor's <laughs> office. He's like shuffling through his papers. All right, hold on. Give, me a, give me a moment. I have to grab something from the back. He gets <laughs> up and goes in the back room. I'm still listening if you want to say stuff or just I'm, I'm, mull I'm mulling through something. What was the name of the dwarf that the mayor was writing to in that office that we found? The dwarf that had... It was from a city. I don't think... Did it say anything oh, it about the city? Dwarf? I thought it was the thought it was the name of the dork. Or is it just the city that we've read? Uh, I think it was just the city. I don't think there was a specific dwarf. Okay. That city was... I actually forgot. I think it was Turin's beard. Okay. Alright, he comes back with a stick. Or, sorry, he comes back with a metal rod that's topped with a... Like a golden holy symbol or something. And he like flicks it open and it extends and goes to the floor. And he sets it down and says, all right, this thing is going to help us just make sure you're fully on the up and up. Uh, if Don't try to resist the magic because I will know that you, fa that, uh, that you have. This is just going to help us so that uh, nobody can lie in this thing. Would I be able to ascertain if it's like holy magic that he's about to use? Yeah, you can do a religion check for me. 
shit. Here's my character. Where did my carry is? Boop. Is that amenable to everyone in here? Religion. I mean, I don't know. I mind. don't know. I just want to confirm that your story's straight. Yeah, that's fine. So basically, we went. We found yes, Lottie. Yes. Um, Lottie gave us a little bit of information on Erasmus that he went to school searching for. Uh, he went to magic school and then came back to magic school and then went searching for some sort of information that he was really bleak about to everybody. And the only two places she gave us was the fort and the mines. And the fort was abandoned and haunted by spirits. And the mines had big old spiders. And it was an old iron mine. And all that everybody knew about it was that some monster slaughtered the whole crew. So we went to the fort first. And he wasn't there. And then we went to the mines. And we found him in a hole where his climbing gear was broken so we got him out of there and then we rummaged through it's like oh no this is wrong we went to the mines he wasn't there but we found a letter <laughs> we found his stuff he's that pointed us to a third <laughs> what he's taking furious notes as you're telling your story <laughs> okay so we found his stuff and then it told us where the third location was it's like some other sort of mine slash dungeon thing. And then we went there, and that's where we found him in the hole. With his climbing gear broken. And then we went through the dungeon, because you can't just find a dungeon and not go through it. Um, so after we completed that, we brought him back home. We had a party. Oh, on the way back, we got ambushed by a bunch of cultists. They wanted to trade us Erasmus. For our lives. And we said, oh heck no. And we killed them all. And then we brought our asses back to the city. And we had a surprise party for him. That was supposed to be a hoist. Where we were trying to find the cultists that may be in town. But it was a bust. Nobody came. But we met a new friend. New friends there. And then that's where we met, met Gilgathresh and Iz. And I like point to them. <laughs> and they joined our party and helped us the rest of the way. So, after that party happened, and, you know, our plans didn't quite work out the way we wanted them to, we had to start doing a little bit of investigating ourselves. And, we kind of came up a little dry on who the cultists might be in the lands. We thought it might be the mayor, and then, I don't know, we thought it might not be the mayor. Spoiler alert, it was the mayor. But, we didn't find that out until we started looking for the harpy songs. So we had to go find all the harpy songs so that the cults couldn't get it, so that they couldn't raise their demon lord that they were planning on raising. And then the three songs were in three different places. The cultists had one of them, and old hag had one of them, and then the, old, uh, the harpies town had another one. So we went to the hag first, and that's where we learned... That the mayor was a bad, bad guy the whole time. There's some tarot cards. That's how we learned it. So, we helped the harp er, helped the hag with her mission, got the song, rushed back to town to try and save Rasmus, and Rasmus was gone. But we found the cultist's lair, where I died, and then got brought back to life. But there was no Erasmus down there. And then, we had to save the whole town from all the cultists ambushing. So we murdered them all, including the mayor. And then we found a tunnel while investigating the old tunnel that was the underground layer for the cultists. That led us to the old Harpy Tower. Where they had Lottie. And Erasmus, and we killed what we think was the big bad, or at least a segment of the big bad, a slave of the big bad on this plane, if you may. Um, and then all the things disappeared from that tower. 
I forgot to tell you the part where we got the song from the underground place. I'm really bad at storytelling, guys. A lot happened. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm I was a bird. So, wait, we didn't get to the bird part yet. So then we have two songs. We have Lottie and we have Erasmus. Instead of taking Lottie and Erasmus back to Huntsville, we took them to our friend the Hag. Because she's got really powerful magic. And we knew that if, if she didn't want anybody finding her, they weren't going to find her. So we took them there, and then we started making our way to the Harpies. And then this is where we all got to be birds. Uh, for three, three trials or three days? Was it three days and three trials? I want to say it was three, three days. days. Three days. I'll and chime three in three, three days. Yeah, which was really cool. And then we celebrated in bird form, and then they gave us a song. So then we have all three songs for to make up for Melody the Heartbeat Queen. So, after that, we went back to town to get Arwen here because she had a really bad affliction that the hag said that they might be able to help her with. So we also wanted to take her to rejoin her with her friends Erasmus and Lottie. On our way there, we got a call from the Archmage Spark Shower I was asking us to come visit her if we were back in Ecclesia. And here we are. Well, that is certainly a story. Uh, it all seemed to check out. I don't know if you guys are lying. This is a this is a lot to process, and I'm gonna need to fill this whole paperwork up and uh, send it to the higher ups because I believe this requires some sort of uh, advanced supervision. I would like uh, to insert. We're also in search of the Archmage. What was her name again? I already said it. We're looking for Archmage yeah, Spark really? Shower. Archmage yeah. Spark Shower. All right, you'll likely find her in uh, New Wafton up near the castle. Uh, speaking of New Often, uh, we can't get into New Often without our Adventurer's Guild's badges. Yes, I was about to say, and he pulls out some papers uh, that are different than his notes, and he, like, fills them out. Uh, give me each of your names, real quick. I'm Silka. Silka. Artemis. Artemis. Is all. Freaky. Creepy. Gilgathrash. Gilgathrash. Right. What about her? The elf. That's our Ar Arwen. Ooh. Arwen. I burped. Okay. You weren't part of this, but I feel like you were involved, so here you go. I made enough sheets, luckily. There you go. All of you, this is a temporary license. Uh, judging by the adventure you've been on, this is uh, some serious work you've done for the guild. And uh, once all the paperwork is filled out, I believe I believe I'll be able to give you all the rank of uh, Steel Adventurer, which is our third tier. Uh, those plaques will come soon once they're uh, forged and prepared for you. Lovely. What was the what was the race of the guy who was taking our story right now? He's human. Human. I was saying, I was saying my goal called tongue. This man says we're going to be Steel Adventurers, and we've been. We've been given the boon of a god, and we're steel adventurers. The audacity of this man! Nobody understands him. Am I correct? Uh, no, I don't think so. Artemis? Okay. I was just saying that out loud to myself. Yeah, okay. He I'll doesn't just, yeah, seem to recognize. I'll just be like, <laughs> I'll just say, weak mortals. Okay, he hands you guys all your papers. This should uh, allow you access to each of the zones of the city. Uh, if anybody bothers you, just show them. It's got my official signature there, and it means you're fully verified. Like I said, come back in uh, come back in about a week, and we should have all of your uh, tags ready to go, and you'll be full-fledged adventurers. Then. If you guys are interested in taking up any new missions that might be more your skill level, uh, feel free to stop on by, and we'll see what we can manage for you. Right now, uh, our office over here is being a little bit uh, slow. 
I haven't had many recruits recently. I'm not sure what's going on with that. Anyway, is there anything else I can do for you? Nope, that would be everything, good sir. All right, excellent. Uh, I'll see you in a week then. All right, Does sounds good. Does he sell anything in here? No. Oh, okay. Adventurer's Guild stuff done. What's next? Tree. We plant the tree. We didn't plant the tree yet. You started the tree. Yeah. yeah. We did. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Tree planted one day. I'm assuming I would have done the spell while we were doing that. Yes. Alright, cool. Is that it? Is that all you guys want to do? That's um, right now, yeah. Okay. I might pipe up to everybody and say, not to be the barbarian who can only be the one to play music, but in case if we get into another altercation of where one of us needs to play the songs, I would like to be able to keep fighting, if that sounds fair to you all. I don't mind being able to play the songs myself, but if one of our range cohorts would like to play the music as well, that'd be most generous. Try and tell somebody to pick up some instruments while we're here. Would be a nice a nice gesture. But if not, I understand. Hard oh. there. Huh? <laughs> we shall see. My plate might be pretty full while we're here. Can I spend the three months learning how to play an instrument? Yeah. We could talk about that. Uh, stream, probably. All that stuff. Unless you guys are all... Like, you all want know what you want to do right now. I'm fine with what okay. I want. I know what I want to do. I know what I want to do. I know what I want to do. Oh, okay. Well, hold on. Let me open a new doc then. <laughs> Alright, we'll do Google Thrash. Google Thrash, what did you want to do? Uh, I'd like to... Well, it depends on what musical instruments they have available, but uh, I'd like to adventure, or what is it? Discover adventures for power. Secret power. Alright. Okay. And then you're training an uh, I'd like to train an instrument, but depending on what is available, I'll just do unskilled work if that isn't. Uh, if I don't like any of the instruments. Uh, you can find every instrument in the city of some regard. So, whatever instrument you want. This is a massive city. I want a trumpet. Trumpet, okay. No work then, trumpet training. Yes. Uh, that means you have to decide your lifestyle. What would your lifestyle like to be? Uh, I'm basically a vagrant. Um, what so is it? Shoddy, the worst one? Wretched is no price. Uh, I don't know if it has any benefits at least here. Yeah, it costs you zero money to maintain a, a wretched lifestyle. Yeah, uh, he's he was a slave. He's used to it. Okay, yeah. Uh, who's next? I'll take up skilled work. Awareness. Yeah, what kind of skilled work? I would try to, you know, just work for, to be, you know, like a guard, you know, maybe a guard doing one of the institutions, stuff like that. Okay, maybe work. even the one of, to, what's her name? 
Want to do city watch stuff? I'll do city watch stuff. Yeah, just to get to lay out the land. You know, depending on how good I am, I just have a good name for myself. I'm trying to avoid, you know, being the bad guy since I am somewhat undead right now. Okay, that'll make you sixty gold per month then, and you'll get a reputation with the city watch. Cool. Uh, what type of lifestyle can you, you have? You get comfortable for free. I'll live a comfortable lifestyle, yeah. Comfortable is like you have a house and food and stuff. You say what else? You have a house and food and like you're, you know, you're comfortable. You have enough like uh, resources and stuff that it's not, you don't want for much. Yeah, I'll do that. And for training, instead of, you know, maybe like an instrument or art and school stuff like that, could I gain like a new language possibly? Yeah. I would like to learn how to speak harpy. Language training harpy, okay. Uh, Silka has something she wants to do. I What's your thing, Silka? I want to work doing some sort of archaeology for the city. Whether that's okay, for so like a museum do... or archiving. Yeah, we'll say you can help. Uh, there's a few different places you could help. You can help with the university. Uh, I think it's called Riverside University. Or you could help at uh, the library. Okay. Or you could look for a private collector who's specifically interested in history and like try to attend his personal museum. Mm. That could be cool. You can come up into the rich folk. That'll earn you. I'll just like make a random noble or something and wreck with them. Okay. Okay. Uh, Dreepy, hmm? or is there, you guys got anything you want to do? Um, I was probably going to do skilled work and do religious services so I can heal people and things. So I don't know about the activity because I don't know if I want to craft if I can for that pot or if I can't, then I guess I'll train. Um, you sh I want to say the pot's probably uncommon. Let me just double check. This thing? I mean, if not, it's not the word. I'm sure we'll have other chances to do this as well, so. Probably not the one I'm thinking of. He does have three more seeds to plant or maybe two more. I can't remember mm -hmm. the count. This one might be kind of three in total. And, and I could add another tool to my belt. Which ones don't I not have yet? Okay, let's see. This is a leather a... working. That's the one I need. Price of power. It's your level five. I th I want to say you can do. Can you do level five stuff? I wrote a lot of shit here, and I forgot a lot of it because I haven't used it yet. What's your PB? Your proficiency bonus is three, right? Proficiency bonus. Where is it? Show that. That's up at the top of your sheet. Above, like, your saving throws. Oh, I'm, I'm looking at D and D Beyond, so I'm probably looking at the wrong one. Oh, I don't know where it is in D and D Beyond sheet. I'll switch to this. I, you should have three, so you can actually make this. Uh, item. Yeah, it's three. So it's mostly just going to cost you stuff because you don't have any special materials for it. Mm -hmm. Aside from you spent, uh, you so you're are you using the same cauldron as your um, homunculus, or is it a different one? If I can, I don't want to. If, it, if you're not comfortable with my homunculus having this spell equipped to it, then I can just make a separate one. Well, the thing is, uh, if you want to have this big Cauldron of Plenty style thing, mm -hmm. yeah. uh, you need a big Cauldron. You need a 50-pound Cauldron. Okay. Your, your little Cauldron, you know, he's small. He's whatever size the homunculus servant is. Yeah. Tiny. Uh, so the Cauldron of Plenty is the... Oh, man, let me show you this thing. So you know what it is. I should have. I wonder if I can give him pizzas so you can move around. So here's the cauldron of plenty. That's the basic thing that it does. 
And you can kind of just slap on movement and stuff. Mm -hmm. Afterwards. You can also change what it looks like. You don't need these like other things too. Okay. Transforms in this too. Just, uh... Create yeah, basically it creates a bunch of stew. Yeah. Okay. That will be useful. And it only needs water. I wasn't I wasn't actually surprised about that. The trick about that one is it is a rare item, which will make it kind of expensive to make. I'm just trying to figure out what its prices are. Yeah, but it'll pay for itself. No more rations. To make a rare item that's not consumable, it's gonna cost ten thousand gold. Okay, I'm learning a, a proficiency then. <laughs> I'm learning a proficiency. You're like, I'm too poor for this right now. Hey, I will be richer by the next time we can do this. <laughs> 10k. Oh, um, I have like almost 1k. Same. Yeah, if you How wanted to make a weaker version, you could make an uncommon variant, but it'd be a thousand gold for that, too. Uh, oh, I should say, though, if you have access to the materials or the, the like the, the essence, mm -hmm. you can subtract a lot of that cost. So if you had like, okay. if you found like some really fancy magic metal or whatever, mm -hmm. like if you made us if you made a really nice like mithril cauldron, it'd be easier to enchant. It would reduce the cost. Okay. Then I, yeah, I guess I'll go out looking for wait, 50 pounds of thick copper. Okay, but I can basically use any metal other than copper. Yeah. You can use any kind of metal since okay. you're going to enchant it. Your main thing is to have uh, you need an ex. You need you would probably want an expert to do this because it'd be like making a it'd be like making an art item. Because mm -hmm. you want a uh, you don't. Ha it doesn't have to look fancy, but the fancier it is, the easier it is to enchant. Okay, so basically, get a person to make a fancy pot, and then I go about enchanting it. Yeah, or you can make it yourself if you want. But yeah. Okay. Yeah. Then and then the, the fancier better. shit you put in it, like making it, will make it less expensive to to deal with. Okay. Yeah, I'll mold that one over. Let's see. So yeah, I will. Yeah, I'll, I'll train this time, and I'll make it on the next adventure. Hopefully I'll have more material. What hmm? do you want to train? Uh, leather. Yeah, leather working tools. Okay, easy. Then I'm a jack of all trades at that point. I can make almost anything. Do you have anything you want to do right away, Is? I wanted to work for a criminal organization. Okay, Ooh. cool. Thieves Guild okay, or are you looking for something different? Uh, okay. Okay. So it's the, it's the work, skilled work for Thieves Guild. Good choice. You already have their... You have, like, a spy contact, right? That's from mm -hmm. your background. Yeah, so yes. you're, already, you're already good yeah, there. Yeah, I got their criminal contact. Okay. Any activities yet? I guess I'll also train an instrument. Um, maybe like the harp. Okay. Nice. All right, cool. So before all this stuff starts, and we kind of have to end our portion of the campaign, uh, a week later, you guys get some news. You get some good news and some bad news. The good news is your Adventures Guild badges come in, and they are all steel plates. With custom engravings of your names, and they signify you as steel tier adventurers. Ooh, okay. So that is I... good because you can basically show that anywhere in the continent, and people will recognize you as members of the Adventurers Guild. And very good ones at that. Uh, steel tier is the third tier up, and there are five combat tiers. Ooh. Ooh. I'm going to apply Magic Tinker into my badge. Uh, the bad news is, however, uh, you receive word that Pinky <gasps> has been killed. No, what? No! I have so much stuff to sell here. Did Pinky get she, killed by the Griffins? She was killed by Griffins. No! On the 
to the city. I hearing after hearing this news, I'll go up to Soka. I'll find Soka and say, "Hmm, wildlife, right?" And then walk away. Listen, it is a part of the world. A needless death. Should Gilgathrash be upset too? Yes, Gilgathrash. Oh. <laughs> I'll actually, since I actually have a comfortable home, I'll actually look at Gilgathrash and say, "Instead, if you do not wish to, you could live with me if you would like to, Gilgathrash. Just don't oh, cause that's... trouble." That's that is very all I generous. Have. I'll, I'll have a room set up for him at my place. We never did go visit the Archmage. Yeah. Arwen is actually devastated by this news. Yeah. I'm going to try and comfort she, her. She might, uh, she might want to do something else during this break. But we'll get to that later. Like All right. Well, um, good shit, guys. That's the end of the campaign right now. I have to basically make everything new that we're doing later. If you guys want to change anything about your lifestyle or your uh, activities or whatever, I'm also going to throw in some actual like background stuff for you guys because I didn't have a chance to do that for this first campaign. I kind of just wanted it to be like an intro mostly okay um so I, that's what that's why if that's why i didn't have anything right. specific but yeah so if you guys can help me in like uh just dm me or like updated backgrounds or whatever yeah yeah yeah. i'll flush mine out more like updated backgrounds cool okay all right sweet cool i think yeah, I think I'm gonna do. overfill the tub at Artemis's house consistently. <laughs> at least just don't get water everywhere. No problem. GG. Big lizard. GG's. We beat the boss early and then had to circle back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you guys did a lot of shit that I did not expect. Yeah, <laughs> GG. It's kind All of right. the name of the game. But it was fun. Was? Are we good to play next through? week? Or are we going to take a break? Or It's probably going to be an extended break while I make things. Because I don't okay. Yeah, I didn't know what you guys were going to do. I can't do next week either, though. Just because my uh, parentals are flying in for the next two weeks. And that is their anniversary day. It's next Wednesday. Ah, shoot. Nice. No, that's kind of what I figured would be a little bit of an extended that's break. Nice. I just wanted to uh, check and see what the plan was for that. But... I've had a lot of fun, though, so thank you guys for including me on this. This is my first D&D game ever. Yay! Oh, wow. Welcome. Well, it's been great to have you. Yeah, you saved their asses a bunch of times. It's Casting true. Fantastic Four, that bot, really that bot. Warlock and and Smug is the best. I was gonna say Smug yeah, is he's... pretty great as well. <laughs> yeah, he's super legendary. I love it. Sweet. Maybe this will give me a reason to draw characters and things too. Draw the things. I'm curious, guys. Any got any uh um comments or anything feedback questions. feedback questions comments i'm just curious i only have positive feedback it seems like everything has been well planned out mm -hmm. to the point that we never baffled you and i appreciate that that was the one seems... thing that was easy about this because this is the first time i wrote out like the whole adventure before starting it mm -hmm. and that did make it wait like i didn't have to prep much Except when you guys did some like crazy shit, and I had to redo everything. But aside from that, I most of it was there already for me. What was the crazy shit that we did that made you redo everything? 
Oh, I can't even remember anymore. Yeah. Yeah. That often. <laughs> I thought I thought you guys would just like like go down in the coat layer and be done with it, but like you did some like finesse shit. You what you went into the mayor's office during the daytime and like the guards <laughs> go there. A desk. And then you guys uh fucking Silka got killed and then you guys left and like, well shit, what what happens now? Because now the cult is free to do things. <laughs> yeah. I, mean, I we... did hear the displeasure in your voice when, when Gilgath Rash could outrun the guards. <laughs> I did enjoy that. No, it's when super we... fast. When we played Scooby Doo in the mayor's house was a lot of fun. I no, I... I thought you guys were gonna get that's what I thought. I think I thought you guys would get fucked. <laughs> like by going in there, and it was like the guards were around, but luckily Gilgamesh was able to keep them distracted long enough, and you guys managed to get down there without yeah. like, yourselves or getting arrested or something. Yeah, when we robbed the place. The like what I thought, I thought you guys would go into town, talk to Arwen, and then she'd be like, "Hey, I found the other entrances to the cult lair. Let me show you where they are," and you just go in that way. But no, <laughs> now we found that. the secret tunnel over here. Your tunnel from the mayor's office. Yep. Uh, robbing them blind, jumping back out the window, then walking in the front door like nothing just happened. It was great. That was pretty good. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Hmm. Now I have to decide, do I want to keep playing Silka, or do I want to change the character? Oh, I guess yeah. that's that's true. If you guys want to change characters, it's a good time to do it. Well, Iron Slime's pretty broken. I like it. I yeah. like the Barbarian. I really I like, like the Warlock. Lizard. Yeah. Mm. Like Smug being able to stealth and check and go places, that's incredibly helpful. Yeah, Smug's yeah really familiars helpful. are fun. And then the special warlock familiars are extra awesome because they do shit that normal familiars cannot. I think this is like the first time I've ever actually like finished a whole campaign. Really? Yeah, you guys beat you guys beat the whole thing I had. Yeah, usually like groups dis like dissipate or something usually happens where we don't really get to an end. We actually got to an end, guys. Well, when he killed you at that one point like dead dead it put the fear into me and i was like "Ooh." Uh. <laughs> that's why i'm like yo i'll sacrifice my mother's body just to bring her back right now yes and yeah. i began taking the dodge action every turn <laughs> yeah, you did. dodge 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 yeah wow, that's why that started <laughs> i didn't know if that was like an intentional rp choice or if, i didn't know what was happening now i'm like why is he just do he, he only dodges what's happening well my feeling it's it's somewhat tactical because i feel like it's a large entity if i get right up on somebody and then i dodge and they can't hit me and they want to give up on that and walk away i get to punch them in the back of the head sometimes so I feel like that, that's might be the move That's true. That's so Can wear cool. Yeah, I'll probably stay Silka. I just always have things floating in my head. I mean, who else is going to find all the secret doors for us? I've been so bad at finding secret doors. There weren't many to find, to be honest. Except the first one in the mayor's room. Yeah. In the, in the in the other side of the town hall. It was pretty legendary though that we found that. Yeah. I don't even think Silka even found that. Silka searched and did bad, but that was also because I had red sickness. You didn't look in that room, I don't think, yeah. Not originally. Yeah. Yeah, I think the only secret door I found was the very first time I checked in, like, the pub that we started the campaign in, where I find the ivory pendant. Mm -hmm. and you also found, I think, a hidden chest in the, the elemental ruins. Amber, I'm going to make a campaign just called Traps and Passages, just for you. Traps and Passages. <laughs> 
That sounds like the worst. Are there any secret doors? There has to be a secret door. I'm gonna go crazy. Oh, man. Yeah, there was a trait I almost took for Silka that was... I'm not afraid of traps. I'm afraid of the idiots that set them off. Mm -hmm. I thought that was pretty funny. Make a good okay. sticker. <laughs> so next time I think we'll, we'll take off as you guys will have finished all of your downtime stuff. And like you'll have things introduced to you as they're relevant to your characters. Um, but yeah, other than that, I think we're good. I don't think there's anything else to say right now. I got a whole world to find, which is why I must do archaeology in these three months. Maybe I'll find some information. Maybe. Who knows? Until next well, time. Thank you for the, the campaign. It was awesome. Yes, yes sir. GGs. GGs, everybody.